you right? Good, I'm good. I just woke up, but I figured because of the nature of the song, it was I was allowed to stay in my pajamas. Like that. Yes, yeah. that's what I used that as an excuse when we were doing early morning promo too. <laughs> <laughs> Thing in the world. So I've got a bed, so I'm in bed, <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys, come on. How are you? Uh, how are you feeling? Good. Yeah, on top of the world. Yeah, really good. Yeah, just um, so happy to get this record out and you know, to be working with Ray and David Getter on this and just, just buzzing that, you know, people are loving the record and it just feels like 2021 is going to be a really positive year. Well, Joel, I've never actually had any experience of you when you didn't have a smile on your face and a wonderful okay. <laughs> response. So this song could be a piece of shit and not be charting and no one could be playing it. None of which are true because it's a hit and it's a great song and everyone's playing it. And you would <laughs> that gorgeous smile on your face and be like, oh. I'm feeling really positive about life. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, just, I, think I, I think I just smile when I'm nervous. I don't know. I can't, ah! I can't stop, I can't stop that. it. Can't stop. Oh, I love that. Ray, maybe you can shed some light on this situation. Maybe when I'm not interviewing him and the cameras aren't rolling, he's actually a massive dick. No, he's not. Okay. And I know a lot of dicks, I can tell you that. There's a lot of dicks in this industry. Joel is not one of them. Joel is an excellent human being. He is brilliant. And in fact, it was when I met Joel that I was like so assured that it was the right decision to do this together. Like oh, as soon you. as I like, literally 15 minutes into meeting him, I was like, oh. you would this guy is wicked. You would develop a really fine-tuned, like, dick radar, I imagine, in this industry. <laughs> you would know straight away, right? Oh, do you know what? Oh, it's funny. But you also have to know the difference as, as well between someone having a really bad day, because this job gets really stressful. But you can just tell. You can oh. tell if someone's having a bad day, but it's a good person. And somebody who's just an arse crack, you know? <laughs> Oh, I'm like, ding, 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 ding. oh, run away. <laughs> That's like way better than us. <laughs> yeah, ass crack, right? It's just the cat, just the, you know, it's the syllabus, syllabus, syllables, um, alliteration. What's the word I'm looking for? Constant. <laughs> if I'm, gonna I'm looking for a word. Help me, someone. The <laughs> I'm gonna wake up early for an interview. I want English GCSE word I'm looking for. I've not I've left that life behind. All right, sorry. <laughs> it's my exams. <laughs> so this music video looks so it's so entertaining and it looks like I have so many questions about how you guys made it. Because obviously Joel um has naturally has the body of a Ken doll. So like they just thought, oh we're yes. You know, he doesn't need to do anything extra. You just rock up after your normal 15 hour workout. But how do you make the dolls? Like it's you with the crazy eyes. Like, was it actually you guys acting out, walking like that through the... Yes, but Joel, <laughs> no wait, Joel was so, he was too good at this. He would stay in character when the cameras had cut, yeah, so were like <laughs> two minutes and it was so cold outside. I'm like, Joel, like that went really good, right? How did, did you enjoy it? He's like, yes, Ray. Like literally like <laughs> not even engaging, like, yeah, like just not here. He killed it though. <laughs> Excellent performance, <laughs> fell off. Is that fell off? I got, uh, I took uh, acting lessons for it, Ash. Like I had a <laughs> body coach. <laughs> Yeah, that's why you're so sick as well. You proper prepared, Joel. Yes, but see, that's Give the energy, Ash. He's an artist, you know what I'm saying? He got acting lessons for his music video. What DJ's doing that? <laughs> They're usually like rocking up late to set with something in the blood system that shouldn't be there, not really. Right? <laughs> and just said, Where are the bitches at that are gonna just walk around in bikinis? Not Joel, he's had a good. He's got acting lessons and he spent <laughs> hours working on the rig at the gym. Yeah, I was just gonna say, yeah. <laughs> and he got home and put in a free hour on Stairmaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in love. We love. Oh. Yes. 
Oh, it's made my whole day. Tell me about, because <laughs> I like get confused when there are more than one DJ slash producer on a track because I'm like, well, well, how do they, how do you work it out? How does it work? How, right. so, yeah. Joel, explain to me, obviously you would have grown up and David Guetta would have been like, you know, David Guetta. So crazy yeah. working together. But how do you like both mm -hmm. work on a track? So what happened was last summer, I was in a studio session and I was played some demos and there were raised demos and uh, I've got played about 10, but there was one that really caught my ear and it was the bed idea. It was just a chorus with some chords behind it. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, this is magic. I need to work on this. So that night, I slid into Ray's DMs. I was like, Ray, I've heard this bed idea. Let's get in the studio. I've got a vision for this straight away. And Ray hit me back in the DM. She was like, I'd love to get in the studio with you. Um, I wrote this idea of David Guetta because Ray and David write a lot together. And I was like, I can't exactly just slide into David Guetta's DMs like I'm going to have to do this a bit more like the right, you know, the proper professional way. So I wrote David an email. Um, he knew of me because of Head and Heart and stuff. Um, so he came back to me and was like, yeah, Joe, I'll be down for you working on this. Let's do it. And literally the next week I was in the studio with Ray. We were smashing it out. And yeah, then obviously I couldn't get in the studio with David because he, you know, because of the travel restrictions because of the pandemic. But, you know, we just stayed in touch during, um, on FaceTimes over the months. And, you know, this was last summer. The record came out last month. So it was like an eight month process. A lot of love yeah. and hard work went into it. And, but yeah, I actually have to let you know, guys. literally, this guy put a serious shift into making this song perfect. Like I had, and I've been telling people, I've been telling every interview that we do because everyone needs to know. There's something called, you know, there's phases of a song, right? So you have the demo, which is the initial vibe you create on the day, um, rough around the edges, you know, and then you have a mix and you usually go through quite a few of those to get it right. And then you have one master, right? I'm not even going to tell you how many different mixes I got from Joel, but I'm going to tell you that I got 17 masters from Joel. You usually get one. <laughs> So just to bring to you the context that this guy isn't just a pretty face. This guy is <laughs> immaculate attention to detail. He goes in and he cares about his artistry. And that's one of the reasons I love him to bits. So right. it's, it's not just as simple as you think. <laughs> More important. Oh. <laughs> so. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah you guys it is so wonderful to hear two artists working together with such love and respect for each other it makes me feel so happy in my soul so thank you for being such wonderful interviewees today oh. with such joy and laughter so i love you guys thank you so much oh, thank you for waking oh, up thanks. early for us thank you for getting out yeah. of bed for our song bed wouldn't have done it <laughs> darling dickhead but I knew <laughs> so you know <laughs> Oh, thanks, Ash. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you.